You're listening to PetLifeRadio.com. A Super Smiley Adventure is brought to you by State Farm. I'm Smiley the dog. I am a mutt. I'm Smiley the dog. I'm Super Smiley. I am a cat too sweet to travel kitty. I have a big girlfriend. Angel's really pretty. I have a pony and we share a big horse. We have a big yard. Yeah, we have to, of course. I have a pool. In the summer, I stay cool. We have a fountain. Live in the mountain. Live high on the hump. Need to be a spokes dog. I'm Smiley the dog. Wolf and Super Smiles, welcome to a Super Smiley adventure on Pet Life Radio, the largest pet radio network in the world. I'm Megan Blake, the Pet Lifestyle Coach, here with my possum co-host, two-time shelter dog, Super Smiley, the ambassador of kindness for State Farm, our amazing national sponsor. As the Pet Lifestyle Coach, I travel the country with Smiley, helping people adopt the right pet for their lifestyle and then help train them so they keep that pet forever. And right now we are in Florida, working with State Farm to share hurricane pet safety tips. Like, if you evacuate, take your pet and take their supplies too, like water, food, and medications. And keep them away from all drainage water and creeks and the ocean. Here on A Super Smiley Adventure, we explore adventures where animals lead. These can be adventures for fun or missions of animal advocacy or inner journeys of self-discovery where our pets can become our healers and teachers. And we've been diving right into these themes by talking about service dogs and National Service Dog Month. In our Sergeant's Pet Health Central blog, Smiley wrote, Many of us dogs are here because of the kind and courageous people who devote their lives to saving us. So many of us owe our lives to humans. And that's why we dogs are so proud of service dogs. They're a special breed of dog made up of devotion, focus, and a mission to help people overcome their challenges and live their lives. They have earned their name. They are service dogs. And Dick Van Patten, you all remember Dick. He's the beloved founder of Natural Balanced Dog Food. He originally created the celebration, National Service Dog Month, in 2008 to fundraise for training guide dogs for the blind. It quickly expanded to celebrate all service dogs, especially those working with military veterans facing the challenges of post-traumatic stress disorder from their war experiences. And Petco stepped right up and right in. So we are so very, very thrilled and honored today to welcome the Executive Director of the Petco Foundation, Suzanne Kogut, to a Super Smiley Adventure. Welcome, Suzanne. Oh, thank you. I'm so honored to be here today. (laughs) Suzanne, we are so thrilled that you are here and that you're taking time out of your super busy schedule to join us. So, Suzanne, let's just start with the very, very basics. Now, we dog and cat lovers, we've all been to the fabulous Petco stores, but what is the Petco Foundation? Foundation. You know, the first thing I would want to tell people about the Petco Foundation is, you know, what we believe. And it's we believe that a time has come for us to all live in a life-saving nation, which means we believe that all the companion animals out there, you know, should be in loving homes. And we need to end euthanasia in this country. So what we do every day is we work together with our Petco store partners, animal welfare organizations throughout the country to lead the change and make that happen in our community. So often we hear about, you know, problems that are not solvable, but this is one that we believe everyone should know is absolutely solvable in our country. And if we as a community of animal lovers come together, we absolutely can and we will do this and we have to do it for the pets who need us. I love this, Suzanne. Oh, so well said, and I just love it. And all of my animals have always been rescued. Super Smiley, Angel, my horses, Starfire, Mini, Ha Ha, they were going to slaughter. And these dogs, these animals, they can be, first of all, wonderful companion animals, but many of them do turn into working dogs. They're bomb-sniffing dogs. They're military dogs. They're service dogs. These dogs are treasures and jewels sitting right there in the shelter. And I, I think that's exactly what you're saying, right? Oh, that's absolutely correct. I mean, you know, I think and one of the great things about dogs that are shelter dogs that become service animals, and it just shows people really what the capabilities of animals, what they are, what they can do, and that they dedicate their lives to others. And whether it's just simply, you know, being by your side every day and making life better for you every day or saving someone, you know, that's under a pile of rubble from an earthquake, they're just amazing. They're amazing in their love and their dedication to people. 
They are. They add a whole dimension to our lives that if we did not have dogs on the earth, we would be missing an entire rich dimension. They add so much. And Suzanne, the Petco Foundation, you all work on many, many programs. You've raised, I think I read, you've raised and invested $135 million to help pets. Wow. Give us an overview. Tell us about some of these programs. You know, it is, it's truly amazing and it's a testament to how much people love their pets. But one of the (laughs) things I think that the foundation brings to the table is so many of us that work here at the Petco Foundation, we have been leaders in communities and bringing about transformational change and saving lives in local communities. And because of that, we're really able to assess organizations and that the leadership of the organization to make sure when we invest $135 million, we're just not investing in organizations that do something, but we're investing in those organizations that do the most that they can with every dollar that we invest in. So those that are high Highly effective, productive. We don't want them to make a life-saving impact. We want to make the most life-saving impact possible. And, you know, we look for those organizations that are led by people that have a can-do attitude. They focus on solutions, not excuses, and they transform their communities. It can involve a lot of programs, spay neuter, you know, helping people keep their pets, things like service dog programs, adoption programs, everything. But it all really is focused on doing the most, not just doing something, but the most you can with every dollar because we believe that's how we're going to get to the point where we are a life-saving nation. And, and that is absolutely at the heart and soul of who we are. Wow, Suzanne, you are so inspiring. I see why you are indeed the executive director of the Petco Foundation. This is so energizing and so fabulous. And Super Smiley told me to ask you a very special question. He heard that you had a sweet dog, Blueberry, there with you today. Is that right? Tell us about Blueberry. Blueberry is a dog that came from an organization that I ran as the executive director Uh in Charlottesville, Virginia, and the SBCA there. And Blueberry is really, um, he's almost like a character of a canine because he looks to be part basset hound and oh maybe my. mastiff and he <laughs> is just the shortest stock he, when he walks by people they sort of give him a funny look and I tell them it's okay to laugh and they just burst out <laughs> laughing he just makes everyone around him happy and I'm I'm just so blessed to have him in my life I love that. I love that. Well, yeah, thank you for sharing Blueberry with us. And oh, and on our show page, I'm going to be posting pictures of, of Suzanne and, and various things. And we'll put Blueberry's picture up there. So everybody be sure to go to our show page and check out these pictures we're going to have. And I want to hear more about your work, Suzanne, with the Helping Heroes campaign, which is the campaign for service dogs right after this break. Smiley, can you wait? Good boy. Sit. Stay. We'll be right back after a short pause. Well, four to be exact. I'm Smiley the Dog. I'm Super Smiley. Let's rock! State Farm, this is Andrea. Yeah, what if I get into an accident in, say, Accident, Arkansas? Anywhere in the U.S., State Farm has you covered. Uh Uh-huh, and if I hit the only tree in Lone Pine, California? We'll send a tow truck right over. What if I get dinged in Denton? North Carolina or Texas? Uh, both. Then we'll send two trucks. Well played. State Farm handles more claims than any other company. Over 35,000 per day. Call 1-800-STATE-FARM and get to a better state. Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com. And we're back on a super smiley adventure with the executive director of the Petco Foundation, Suzanne Kogut. Welcome back, Suzanne. Thank you. So in Smiley's and my Pet Health Central Blogs Month, Smiley wrote, Service dogs live their lives to help their person live theirs. It's just that simple, and we salute them. Suzanne, I know the Petco Foundation salutes, supports, and celebrates service dogs. So tell us about the Helping Heroes campaign. Well, our Helping Heroes campaign, which runs during the month of October, from October 3rd through the 25th, in our stores, we bring awareness to all the work that service and therapy animals are doing. You know, it can be anything from, as, you know, as we talked about military working dogs, those dogs that are trained to help veterans with PTSD or other support dogs, dogs that help 
people that are hearing impaired, dogs that help people that are blind. It could be just for a therapy dog going to help a classroom of children that may have difficulties with literacy skills. I mean, it's just such a, you know, a broad breadth of different things that animals can bring to the table and help people. So during our Helping Heroes campaign, we bring that information to light to all of our Petco shoppers, but also give everyone the opportunity to make a donation to the campaign. And then we, of course, invest in those organizations that are doing this incredible work throughout the country. And people can donate right there at the Petco stores, right, when they buy their little dog toy or dog treat. Is that right? You absolutely could donate right there. And actually, if you donate $10 or more, you get this super cool Helping Heroes bag that has some of the... our Search Dog Foundation canines on the bag, and they're, it's just the coolest bag ever. So you're going to want to have one of those. I think everyone oh, should have one. I love that. We're super smiley, and I were just at Petco last night. I know we have to wait till October to get this bag, but we are totally, totally going to head there and do that. And and Suzanne, you're talking about the service dogs and therapy dogs, but do you also have like service kitties and bunnies and other pigs, other animals? Do you work with other animals as well? We support organizations that use all types of animals. We see a lot of people using equine therapy. Ah. Um, We've seen, you know, there's therapy pigs, there can be therapy (laughs) cats and bunnies. So it's really, really pretty much any animal. I will say that most of the time it's, you know, we see more often it's our dogs and the canines that are working, you know, more working animals and support animals, but it really can be anything. Right. And I mentioned that I have horses and cats and dogs and, and both my dogs are therapy dog smileys with pet partners, a pet partners therapy dog. But also, just in having these animals around me in my life, different species bring different energies and different sort of healing powers, for lack of a better word, to a situation. Do you agree with that? Have you found that? Oh, absolutely. And, and, and I think even, even within a, a species, there's different personalities. And some right. dogs, you know, they're really <laughs> just great bringing a calming personality to a situation. Um, some of them are just there to make you happier every day of your life. So, right. I, and some of them are there to really, really work and are just determined to work and save a life. And that's truly amazing to see, too. Right, right. Smiley, I'll tell you very briefly, when I learned Smiley was a, an innate therapy dog, my mother was visiting me and she was on a walker and she kind of crumpled on the stairs. She didn't hurt herself and really fall, but she couldn't make it up and she was sitting there on the floor and was just couldn't get up, kind of whimpering. And my German Shepherd, she was a little more nervous and she was kind of running back and forth like, oh, the person's down. But Smiley went right over and sat next to her and leaned calmly against her and I have yeah. never seen such grounding energy in my entire life. And that's when I looked at him and, and he basically said, I'm a therapy dog. Get me this certification. <laughs> and so, so amazing. Once again, he's been leading me on this adventure. There are all these adventures where our animals lead us, which is the theme of this show. And Suzanne, have you had the opportunity to personally meet any of the service dogs that you all have helped? Tell me about meeting some of them. What have they shown you? I have. I've had a chance to meet especially some of the military working dogs, yes. some of the, the guide dogs. But I'll, I'll have to tell you my absolute favorite was just recently I met a group of dogs and their handlers that had just come back from, from Nepal, the earthquake in Nepal. Oh, my. And it, these were dogs from the Search Dog Foundation, which only takes dogs from shelters. Oh, um, and, and often the more difficult ones that were having a, a tough time getting adopted – you know, because they're just so smart and they want something to do all the time. And sometimes right. I think that's misinterpreted into, oh, they just don't know, they don't behave or whatever. No, they're just looking for something more. That's what they're dedicated right. to is right. saving lives. Yes. And the dogs were amazing. I mean, we, you know, got to see the, a simulation of how a dog would save a person under a huge rubble pile. And we got to see how they're willing to climb up on things like, you know, small poles and different things to balance themselves to get to where they need to go and they're just really truly amazing it's one you know we're incredibly excited about investing in the search dog foundation and these dogs because number one i think it shows people that these shelter dogs are not only just good dogs but they're amazing heroes and they're transforming 
you know, lives by, they're going to save lives. They're going to be saved from a shelter and yet they're going to be taken to save lives of people in real life and death situations. But the Search Dog Foundation is also creating this incredible, unique, one-of-a-kind facility where they've actually got trains that they've brought in so they can simulate train crashes. They have an earthquake wow. zone so you can simulate, you know, sh- these dogs can train in unstable buildings and different things. They're actually looking, hopefully, to bring in a plane to simulate a plane crash and and simulate different types of weather conditions. And so this is truly going to be an amazing facility. And I'm so glad that this is an organization that still promotes the use of shelter dogs for these programs. We're just so proud of it. Yes, absolutely. I am so proud of all this work as well. This is just absolutely amazing. And we just interviewed recently Canines for Warriors with Sherry Duvall here in Florida, and they use 95% shelter dogs. If they can get a shelter dog to train as a service dog for their warrior, that is is the dog they will go to. And they have a 100% success rate with the dogs once they're placed with their warrior. So absolutely, absolutely second all of this. And Petco Foundation raises funds for training the service dogs. So obviously, as you've already talked about, it impacts the person receiving the service dog. And you've alluded to this a little bit. Do you think your campaign also helps educate the public about service dogs and about how they impact society. Talk about that, the big picture. We just, we've already touched on Talk about that a little bit more. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think by letting people know in our stores, I mean, that's the great thing about working with the Petco Foundation is we actually, you know, have 1,400 stores throughout the country where we can tell people about these incredible animals and their use in these programs and highlight the good work. You know, that's really a focus for us to be able to do that when people come in the store and let them know about what's going on in the country and to see the value of of these animals. I, I think it's, you know, truly amazing. And, you know, you had mentioned the organization in Florida, I think they do great work. We're also really seeing this movement towards even some of the dogs that um, our police forces are using or dogs in prisons to like sniff out different yes, things like, yes. you know, cigarettes or cell phones. And a lot, of, mm-hmm. a lot of people are now going to the shelters to get these dogs and they're having wonderful success. So it's really, I mean, it's really sort of a win-win-win all around. And <laughs> we're so it excited is, about it. It is a win-win-win. I did just mention the Canines for Warriors and then there's also another group that I think you work with that that I'm very good friends with is Mission Canine Rescue with Kristen Reagan. You work with them as well or help support them, right? Yes, absolutely. U.S. War Dogs Association and Mission Canine, bringing, making sure dogs that have been working in the military have the opportunity to come back and retire in the United States and retire with their handlers. In fact, recently, you know, over Memorial Weekend, I was just reading an article about how some of these dogs weren't able to come back. And the Petco Foundation and Petco and Natural Balance together supported the creation of a military working dog, Memorial at Lackland Air Force Base where a lot of these dogs are actually trained. And in and, and doing that, I got to meet people, you know, on the ground there when the, when the memorial was unveiled and, and got to meet a group of people from the U.S. War Dogs Association. And when yes. I read about this, that these dogs couldn't come back to the country because people couldn't afford to bring them back. I mean, we just picked up the phone and said, hey, what do you need? And we made a $250,000 grant to the U.S. War Dogs Association who works with Mission Canine and makes sure now that all of these dogs can come back and they get the medical treatment and money is not an issue and we're excited about that too. I will thank you thank you so much for that contribution I know Chris and her team work so hard and they're, they're just so dedicated so thank you, thank you, thank you to the Petco Foundation for doing this and as the Pet Lifestyle Coach one of my missions is to help people integrate pets into their lives so let's get back to regular people with their regular pets. Can you talk about the value of just having little animals in our homes and our lives? What do you think about that. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I think they make every little thing better, right? I mean, yes. you can go garden outside, but you can garden and have, you know, an animal rolling next to you and just brightening yes. up your day. You could read a book in the house or have, you know, a cat by your side purring. I mean, yes. they just make the simple things in life better. And they just teach us that to focus on the simple things in life, to focus on the joy and the companionship and the love around us. And it's, if you don't have a pet in your life, you're missing so much. Go out and get one today. Go to your shelter and get one. <laughs> yes, go because get one. Because it's just the simple things that make all the difference, and that's what they bring. 
I love that. It's perfect, perfect, perfect. And we want to hear more of your stories about your work with animals and more about Helping Heroes campaign right after this break. Smiley, can you wait? Good boy. Sit. Stay. We'll be right back after a short pause. Well, four to be exact. It's designerpetsweaters.com. Hand-knitted designer sweaters for your precious pup or cool cat. Beautiful couture patterns for your pets, including custom-knitted formal wear, casual wear, yachting, and even sports-themed. Many designer pet sweaters include feathered tammy hats, top hats, and a lot of sparkle. Each sweater includes leg loops, front paw sleeves, and leash opening. Visit designerpetsweaters.com to order your four-legged fashions today. Your pets will stay warm for the winter and be runway ready. Large or small, we fit them all. Designerpetsweaters.com Remember when you swore you'd never get married, never have four bedrooms and a minivan, and never have... Twins? We're having twins? And then never happens, and becomes the things you never want to be without. For all the nevers you now want to last forever, State Farm is there to help protect them, with everything from life insurance to college savings and more. And that's the difference between just having insurance and having a State Farm agent. To find a State Farm agent near you, call 1-800-STATE-FARM or visit statefarm.com. People say less is more. At Red Barn, we think less is better. It's what you won't find that sets our natural premium pet food apart. No byproducts, no corn or soy, no fillers. Just the natural ingredients your pets need to live the healthy life they deserve. Look at the label. We want you to. Red Barn Naturals Pet Food. Simply the best. Find it in your local pet specialty store. Try our chicken rolled food as a meal or shred it as a topper. Let's talk pets. Let's talk pets. On Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. PetLifeRadio.com. Hi, I'm Jane Lynch, and I'm on a super smiley adventure. Woof, woof. And we're back on a super smiley adventure with the amazing Suzanne Kogut, the executive director of the Petco Foundation. Welcome back, Suzanne. Thank you. So let's just recap right here for the Helping Heroes campaign. Tell us again, when will we see this and how can we participate? So go to your Petco store in October. Uh We eat some of our service animals. Sometimes they'll bring them out during our campaign in October. So you may get a chance to meet one. But if not, you can go in there. First of all, go buy what you need for your pet at home and then make a donation to the Petco Foundation. And we will make sure that that donation goes to really help a service, a therapy, a working animal in, in your community and throughout the country. I love that. What a wonderful, wonderful mission and message. And Suzanne, you mentioned that you were once with the Charlottesville SPCA working directly with the shelter animals. That's the real boots on the ground work. And as I mentioned, all of my animals have always been rescues. And and I know that for me, they are indeed healers and teachers. So what did the rescued animals at the SPCA teach you about life? What What did you learn from them? You know, I actually, I left corporate life and went to go work at a local SPCA. And I was always fairly driven in life, fairly driven in my career. But I actually think what they taught me at the Charlottesville SPCA is what it truly means to have a determination to succeed. Wow. You are responsible for animals that, I mean, honestly, it's, it's life or death, right? When you are responsible for that, that determination to succeed goes to a whole different level and you know you just go in every day and you it's never enough you have to do whatever you have to do to make sure you ha- you create the best life for them so I think that's what it's really given me in life and I thought I had that before but I didn't even have what was close to it until I went and worked at the SPCA. Yes I totally get that because like we said that animals add an entire dimension to our lives. I like to say that they add a whole universe to our lives. They open us up to a whole other universe. There's no other word that I can think of for that. And I think that's sort of what you were just saying. You thought you were at the the top of, you know, pushing and making things happen. Then you see them and boom, they just push us up to another level. And I agree completely with that. And for me, animals are messengers of joy and of embracing life and being here in the moment. And I want to 
go back just a moment and mention Dick Van Patten. Every time Smiley and I were with him, he also exuded that joy and that connection to life. So I want to I want to thank the entire Van Patten family and Jimmy for bringing Natural Balance and Service Dog Month to the world. And thank you to Dick Van Patten, who I, I believe is looking down on us right now, continuing his work. And Suzanne, you're doing such an amazing, amazing job. Did you ever have the opportunity to work with Dick Van Patten or the Van Pattens personally to meet them? You know, I haven't. I, Dick and the Van Pattens have been, per, you know, personal friends of Petco yes. and the Petco Foundation yes. for many years. And while I haven't, I do know of their personal passion and their dedication to helping animals. So I wish I did a little bit more. Yeah, well, they're a beautiful, beautiful family. And if we were to remember one thing about Petco Foundation's Helping Heroes campaign, what do you want us to remember? What do you want us to take home with us today? You know, I think probably that we all have the potential to be a hero to someone, to an animal, to a person, and we should always embrace that opportunity and and be a hero to someone in our lives. I love that because we... That opportunity is always right there. Always, always right there. You know, even from the smallest and you will things never to regret taking advantage of that opportunity and making something happen for someone else. Absolutely. I love that. I love that. Well, one of Super Smiley's missions is to share kindness around the world. He <laughs> He's the official ambassador of kindness for State Farm, and he does this with flash mobs, with documentaries, and his kindness programs with children, teaching kids kindness through animals. So let me take this moment to invite everyone, including you, Suzanne, and the Petco Foundation to watch Super Smiley's Super Cute. It's just a minute and a half animated music video where he's flying around the world in his red suit. Super Smiley Cape, sharing kindness with the world. You just Google Super Smiley Kindness video and it comes right up. And I know that that is not being in a shelter, saving lives. But you know what I also know? I know that it is indeed planting the seeds of kindness with every person that watches it. So like you were just saying, Suzanne, every little thing, every big thing, every positive thing is making a difference. Would you agree with that? Absolutely. And I can't wait to meet Super Smiley one day, too. (laughs) I hope you can. We travel around a lot. As a matter of fact, we used to spend Christmases in Palmyra, which was very close to Charlottesville. So I don't know if you're still in that area. But we we are in Florida now. We were in Kentucky shooting a movie last week. And so we're going to be doing a flash mob at the University of Georgia coming up. So there's a very good chance that we can cross paths with you, Suzanne. That would be wonderful. (laughs) We'd love that. And oh, let me go to our our producer, Mark Winter, our super Super producer, as I call him, he wrote the song and the music video for us. And without him, Pet Life Radio would not be here. So a big thank you to Mark Winter, our super producer. And thank you also to our amazing pet-friendly sponsor, State Farm, who does so much for dogs with their Arson Dog Program, the Canine Assist Team, and Super Smiley's Safe Pet Travel Tips. And Suzanne, for people to look up the Petco Foundation to see all of your programs, to see maybe something that might specifically vibe to them so they could volunteer or just read more about it, where can they go to learn more about you? You can go to our website at PetcoFoundation.org and follow us on Facebook and Twitter, too. Oh, very, very good. Yes, I think I'm following you, but I'm going to double check today that we're following Petco Foundation. Wonderful, wonderful. And most of all today, Suzanne, thank you so much to Suzanne Kogut for all you do for pets and for their people through the Petco Foundation. Suzanne, thank you, thank you for everything. And we look forward to seeing you in October. Smiley and I are definitely going to stop by a Petco and make a donation and pick up one of your fabulous bags. And you just do so many things. October is a wonderful month for you with the, the Helping Heroes campaign. What do you have coming up after that? Do you know of what, what your next campaign is? Do you put them out? Our next campaign is our Tree of Hope campaign. And that really is dedicated to creating a life-saving nation and helping all the animals that are in shelters throughout the country. So that'll be in end of November, December. And, and visit us then for, to hear more about that too. Tree of Hope. I love that, Suzanne. Yes, that's Smiley and I would love to do whatever we can to help you promote your causes and get more people over there so we can save more lives. I love that. Thank you, Suzanne. Thank you so much for having me. And everybody, I'm Megan Blake with Super Smiley on a Super Smiley Adventure. And until next time, woof and super smiles. Let's Talk Pets, every week on demand, only on PetLifeRadio.com.